Hello, fellow space travelers. Welcome back to Keanu's Pikmin 2 Let's Plays. In the last episode, we traveled to the perplexing pool, and we and we found the yellow Pikmin. So, so now we're going to head back to the Awakening Wood, as I discussed in my last video last night. And I have a few things to say, say right now, but they're not bad things or anything like that. So let's land. And while we're doing that, I'll tell you guys about my day today. Okay. And we have landed. Phew. Okay. We'll need to get some... We'll need to gather some... We'll need to grow some more yellow Pikmin. Oh! She rubs. Hate these things. No, wait, 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 wait. Ow. I'll save that for the red ones. Oh, but Burge, a burly spider wart mold. Okay, you, eat, you go with the yellows. to turn yellow. Uh, I better wait for the for get more to get more Pikmin in order to take up those sheer grubs. Okay. Whisker pillar. Oh yeah, that's a ravenous whisker pillar. They pretty much destroy or eat the the, the berries on the ultra spicy burrowing spider wart. take a while. Now I know the reason, well, the reason why I went back to the Awakening Wood is because in this, in this part we'll find the final Pikmin type of the game. We already have four of the five, and we have one more. And it's right, so we're right here. And it's right here. See that blue thing right there on the radar? You'll see it. You'll see what it is. We're collecting some berries for the ultra spicy spray, if you didn't know. What I really like about some Pikmin types, you could just throw a Pikmin onto a red a dwarf bulb orb, and that will instantly kill them. Mm. <gasps> On March picture lids! <laughs> I love these things. Not only do they... Not only do they, uh... Not only do they produce food for the Pikmin, they also, uh... 
They're also <gasps> Honey Wisp, Honey Wisp. Ah, I'll get that some other day. Oh my gosh! The... It just woke up the red bull boar. Oh, uh, also, I want to show you something. I want to show you something. With the white Pikmin. I'm sorry I have to do this little guy. I'm sorry I have to do this little guy. Watch what happens when... Watch what happens. Watch what happens. Come on, eat him! There we go! Intriguing! The creature showed symptoms of poisoning after consuming the white Pikmin. Perhaps white Pikmin excrete a poisonous substance when chewed. How fascinating. Yeah. Yeah. Apparently, the white Pikmin... Apparently, the white Pikmin are poisonous when eaten, and when it... When a... When a... When a creature eats a white Pikmin, they die. Because, you know, they're poisonous. I think we have a... Or actually, we'll take that... That red bull board pops back to the onion. Shoe grubs. Take these things. Ow, oh, man! I always try to match the color of the onion with the correct color of the pellets, because... If they don't match up, they don't give out, they don't spit out that much Pikmin. Alright, these Pikmin have been nectarized. I'll leave these guys late. I'll leave these guys here to bloom. I'll leave those Pikmin in the ground just to blossom. Cloaking burn it! Oh! Okay. Okay, we'll get this. Alright. We got another piece of treasure. Wow! Creepy chrysanthemum! Creepy chrysanthemum, creepy chrysanthemum. Ah! <laughs> it hit itself. Ah! Don't let him eat the Pikmin! <laughs> I like how when it hits itself, it, it makes the ground shake. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Alright, the yellows have brought back that piece of treasure. 60 Pocos. Name? Healing Cask. AKA a little a little container of aloe vera cream. Hand cream, that is. In the Wii and GameCube versions, this was originally a canister of Carmax Cold Sore Cream, but I think because of licensing expiration they they had to change it. Another one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, that really reminds me of that one Sesame Street segment from that one Sesame Street segment, you know, the pinball animation, you know, you know the one that goes, one, two, three, four, five, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Do 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 What's going on? Olimar, we have a problem. The onion has ceased ejecting seeds. Is it malfunctioning? Interesting. It now seems the number of life forms within the onion has increased. Didn't you note that no more than a hundred Pikmin will venture onto the planet at once? But I currently observe only 95 on the surface. Could there be wild Pikmin somewhere? Maybe they... Oh yeah, there is. Okay. Okay, now we can break down that that uh electric things. Okay. Sorry if this is taking a while. I don't think you can rapid throw. I don't think that was introduced until Pikmin 3. Okay. There they are! The last Pikmin in the game that we could we find. The blue Pikmin. Look there! Wild blue Pikmin are chasing prey near the water's edge. Perhaps by observing these wild specimens, we can understand more about their true nature. I apologize. I was momentarily entranced by them. Now, back to work. Thank you, ship. Take down that bit. This could take a little while. I'll have Alamar and Louie take a little nappy. <laughs> yeah, they're almost done. Hey, Louie, wake up. Blue, blue, blue. I really like the blue, blue, blue sound effect. Okay, let's put the yellows back. Let's put the yellows back. Let the leaf pick and catch up. Okay. Put the yellows back. Now let's go meet those blue Pikmin. Oh, oh, glove it's, it's almost sundown. There they are. Oh, they're so cute. Look at them. At last, you have encountered you've encountered them. They seem to have gill-like ducks on their cheeks. Uh, actually, it's more of where their where a mouth should be. They must be they must be blue Pikmin. Like the other types, they look to you for a direction. While they are indeed surviving naturally, they still seem to long for a valiant leader. Yes, we finally found the last Pikmin of the game, the blues.
Oh, wall poles. Take care of these onions. Oh yeah, the Pikmin can actually attack while swimming. Oh wait. Yeah, so the Pikmin are uh, trying to attack these wall poles. Oh, Glubbits! It's so sundown! Oh, Glove, it's, it's almost... It's, it's counting down! Okay... Cluck! There's a piece of treasure over there, but we'll get it in, in the next... The ne we'll get it the next day. One... Zero. End of the day. And lift off. Okay, here's today's report. We got 60 pokos from that healing cast. Oh, it's a male. Oh, it's Olimar's son. Yeah. Apparently he has a wife and two kids. Hi, Papa. Mama heard you got a promotion, so she's ha very happy. So now she's very happy. You have lots of people under you right now, right? So does that... So does this mean you're a super captain? If they ever make a Pikmin 5, they should really have Olimar's family join him on his expedition. That would be cool. They would be... They'd go on an adventure as a family. I would love to see that. Let's land back in the Awakening Wood. Okay, now we have the blue Pikmin in our arsenal. Cheerbubs! <laughs> I'm collecting a few Pikmin types. Some more Pikmin. Nope, no Honey Wisp. Let's get that piece of treasure while we're at it. Get those wall poles. There we go. Take those back to the ship. I mean, back to the onion. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Mario paints. Oh, it's a it's a it's a little tube of blue paint. So today, uh, just now, I just got home from uh, from a uh, '90s dance. It's like a prom almost, except we're not at school. Any I'm not at school in school anymore. So pretty much, uh, I was at a '90s dance at a ni at a '90s dance with my girlfriend Thea. Yeah, if you're watching this video, I love you. So pretty much we uh, we danced, we ate some pizza, we drank some soda and stuff like that. It was completely free. And uh, we and we even had some makeout moments. nectar from the from the grass or whatever this type of grass is like, you gotta like the sound the nectar makes when you walk into it, it goes bleh. Here they come. Oh, it's a mold. Perfect. 80 Pocos. Name, Decorative Goo, AKA a paint of Mario paint, a blue Mario paint. Nice nod to the Super NES game. Oh no. There's a mold. Gotta stop it from growing and suffocating the burrowing spider warts. No, 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 it's growing! Oh, man, it's... It killed him. It killed him. Come on, shrink! Shrink! Stupid mold. Oh, thank goodness. when that happens. Oh, there's a, there's another piece of treasure over here. I wonder what this does. I wonder what happens when I when the pick and break it. Drain the water. So that thing pretty much drained the water. Cool. There's another brewer wing spider word up there. And it's an ultra bitter one. I think we'll need more Pikmin for this. We'll need the, the purples for this. After I uh, nectarize these, these leaf, these leaf stem, these leaf, these leaf stem blue Pikmin. Okay. Okay. Purples and blues. Go. Oh, purples and blues. 
Take down that wall. This could take him a while. There we go. Oh, there's another electric fence. Okay, take those, take those berries back to the ship. Oh, it's a die. Also, this is what happens when you throw a non-yellow Pikmin at an electric fence. I'm sorry I have to do this little guy. It's for it's for example. Watch what happens when I throw a non a non-yellow Pikmin at this electric fence. Yeah. Only the yellow Pikmin can withstand electricity. If a yellow if a red, blue, purple, or white Pikmin get close to the electric fence or are exposed to electricity, they elect they get electrocuted and they die. A hundred Pokos. Name? Chance Totem. AKA a die from a board game. Or whatever. Okay. Over here. Oh no, yellow Wally Hop. Wow! That was close. Throw them on the on the Wally Hop. Throw them on the Wally Hop. Wow! The best way to to beat these things is to throw them on top of on Throw, throw them on top of the Wally Hops. Goodbye, Wally Hop. Oh, another one. Wow! Also, I keep wondering... What, do these things even eat? If so, what do they eat? Goodbye, Wally Hop. Okay. Pikmin are gonna build this bridge. Okay. Okay, once this bridge is, is finished, I'm gonna end the day and we're gonna head to the perplexing pool. This could take a while. <laughs> okay. 
Perfect. Okay, now let's end the day. Okay. And lift off. Okay, here's today's report. Okay, we got two we got 180 pokos today. We got a decorative some decorative goo and a chance totem. Oh, it's it's the president again. Louie, your grandma sent me cookies. Now I only meant the taste Now I only meant the taste meant to taste one, but then I ate them all. Sorry. I to make it up for it, I shall officially make you a cookie specialist. A cookie specialist. Okay. Let's go to the perplexing pool. Hmm. Perplexing pool. The blues. And the yellows. And a little bit of the and a little bit of the white pickman too. Okay, I better scout around and Better scout around and see if the coast is clear. Hello? Oh, this seems familiar. Is that a cicada that's that's screeching in the background? Oh, this looks familiar. I think this is the same place as the Distant Spring, which was the uh, area where we found the Smoky Prog in Pikmin 1. Oh no! Come on, swim, 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 swim! Backstroke, backstroke! Oh man, they, d they drowned. Rest in peace. They drowned. Rest in peace, little guys. Oh, wait. I don't really need the... I don't just need the yellows. I think I might need the blues, too. Also, this thing right here is a toady bloister. So that you have to aim for that bulb thing on its back. That's its weak spot. Yes! Piece of treasure. Oh, it's one of those little fishing lure bobbers. Okay, 
almost to the shore. So after we uh, built that bridge and open up that, uh, after we op after we demolish that electric fence over there, we can, uh, you know, okay, they're almost done. Just a few more inches, guys. Very good. You're almost done. You're good. You're good. There we go. Okay. Okay. Louis, you take the blues and you take the blues. I'll put the whites and the reds back. Put the reds and the whites back for a bit. There we go. Check how the electric fence is coming along. Yep. They're, looks like they're getting along perfectly. Okay, almost there. There we go. 80 Pocos. Name? Aquatic Mine. AKA one of those uh, fishing fishing line bobbers. <clears throat> you know you can't when you go fishing you might you might have one of those in a tackle box and you put them on a at the end of a fishing line and then you cast up you cast a, cast a fishing line in the in the water and then it bobs above the surface of the water. Kick ass! We got plenty of blue Pikmin. Oh, we're almost done with the with the electric fence. Okay. Oh, it's done. Okay, now we just go over to where? Okay. Okay. Oh, it's another it's one of the another one of those drain things. Large rock sits in a reservoir of water. May I interject here? I have been observing the two of you working together. You have been co cooperating well. Yet to face the dangers ahead, you must be free of the shackles of a boss-worker relationship. Learn to use X to separate. Learn to use the X button to separate and the Y button to change leaders. If you if you can master teamwork, you can overcome any impediment. Oh, 
the water drained. Take out those wall poles. <laughs> when they're out of water, they, they pretty much jump around like fish out of water. Or they jump around like Magikarp. You know Magikarp, right? The useless Pokemon that can only use Splash. Okay, we'll put the yep. Or actually. Actually, I'll get the I'll get the the blues ne nectarized. I'll nectarize the blues. Ah, there's there's some. Okay, I think the, all the blues have been nectarized. I don't think nectarize is a word, but I'm going to use it for Pikmin who have been successfully turned into leaf, have, have blossomed. Okay, I'll put the rest of, some of the blues back. Okay, I'll take some of the reds out. And the whites. Okay, those those four red Pikmin need to be nectarized. Wow! Uh, he almost got crushed by that Wally Hop. Okay, now let's explore a cave. Explore a cave. Um, actually, I'll save it for the next video. Go to sunset. Okay, we got eighty pokos today. We lost seven Pikmin today. Oh, it's a male. Some say that you should look to the past, to places that you have been already, in order to make new finds. Of course, extraordinary people like me always press onward. Yes, thanks for the inquiry, Mr. President. So I'm going to stop right here, and in the next episode we're going to continue our search in the perplexing pool. So thank you guys for watching this episode of my Pikmin 2 Let's Plays. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, ring that bell icon, share on social media, yada, yada, yada. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Okay, bye!